States like Illinois and New York are leading the way to a drop in COVID-19 cases. But as one nurse from Roscoe who traveled to New York says, a decrease in cases does not mean you should decrease your precautions. New at 6 tonight, 13 News reporter Lauren Baker has more. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to help save lives during the pandemic. It was very intense and at the hospital, they had 90% of the patients that were there were COVID patients. A fellow nurse reached out to Roscoe native Ian Taylor about a traveling nursing job in New York to help those fighting COVID-19. He thought he wouldn't get the job and applied anyways. But to his surprise, his journey at the epicenter of the outbreak would start three weeks later. The main reason that I wanted to be a nurse was to help people. And I'm not saying that I was not helping people in Rockford because I was, but to be able to say that I came out to the city that has the highest number of cases and we can see those cases start declining and to say that I was there to help, that is honestly, I feel like the most rewarding experience to me. It's the first weeks were challenging and rewarding, seeing patients come in and out of the hospital. But now numbers are decreasing, people are beating the virus, and states are opening up again. It's definitely slowing down. It's definitely gotten a lot better, and I think that they have really kind of like paved the way for other states in the United States to, you know, look at as an example of how to take this amount of cases, take all this, you know, pressure, take all this stress. That they're on. The pressure to lower the numbers has shifted to keeping the numbers down. A key role Taylor says everyday Americans contribute to. You have to wear your mask when you get home. You have to wash your hands. And if you wear your mask, wash your hands and follow the guidelines, Taylor says all of us can help wipe out the pandemic once and for all. For your 13 Weather Authority, Lauren Baker, 13 News. Taylor says he plans on coming home in July for a vacation, then return back to New York to continue to fight on the front line.